Welcome to video three of our uh, Raspberry Pi robot project. In this video, we're going to install our web server and then we're going to move some of my uh, configuration files and program files into the web server directories. And then we're going to use our web browser to actually control the motors that we've set up in the previous um, video. Um, first, let's uh, take a look. The web server that I'm using is Light TPD. Uh, here's the web server uh, or the website where you can find some, a bunch of information on this. It's a very lightweight uh, web server and very efficient and, um, and it's great with uh, CGI scripts which we're using. I did also try it uh, with Apache and it does work with Apache. I just found the response responsiveness uh, of the app through the web browser was just better under using this lightweight um, web server. So that's why I ended up selecting it. Um, so. Before I'm jumping in and installing the web server, I'm going to switch over to my external camera and just show you the current state uh, of our project. Okay, so here's the current state of our robot. Um, so as we discussed last time, I have um, mounted the battery, the LiPro battery, onto the bottom using the 3M strip. I have placed the power over ethernet module and strapped it in with the 3M Velcro strips. And then I've put my plexiglass on top and then mounted my uh, Raspberry Pi to it. Um, as you can see, I also have a little um, uh, cutout piece here. This is where we're eventually going to mount the servos, which will have the um, Raspberry Pi camera and then the bright Pi LEDs on it as well. So our uh, platform here is starting to take shape. So now I'm going to switch back over to my computer. Okay, so now we're ready to install our Light TPD web server. So to do that, it's really quite straightforward. We use sudo apt-get-y install Light TPD. So it's going to go through now and uh, install this. It's quite um, it's quite lightweight. You can tell um, I've installed Apache many times, and Apache. Um, has a fairly lengthy install and this uh, light TBD is actually um, quite quick. Um, so I'm just gonna pause the video here while it does its install and then uh, we'll continue on with the project. Okay, so our install has completed. It really didn't take long, that long and it only took maybe another um, 15, 20 seconds from when I uh, paused the video there. So now really our web server is installed so we can actually test it out um, if we go into our web browser and just go into the ip address of your um, raspberry pi which for me it's uh, 168.7.100 and hit enter and there you go we've got a kind of a default web page and you can tell this is the light tbd because obviously it talks about uh, the web server and uh, and that so this is just the default web page. We're actually going to replace this with um, my web page and some of the configuration files that I have. But first, there's a couple additional things that we need to do for this. The first one is we need to enable the um, uh, CGI uh, commands for this uh, um, web server. So the first thing we do for that is sudo again light tpd dash enable dash mod uh, CGI. Oops, got a typing mistake there. Okay, so that's enabled. Then we need to do the same, but this time for fast CGI. And again, now fast G uh, CGI is enabled. Okay, so now we're ready to move our configuration files and our HTML file uh, over to the Light TBD uh, web server. So to do that, we make sure that we're in the Pi home directory by typing cd. Then we cd into the www directory, uh, which is the, the directory that we uh, secured FTP over in the first video. And you see that we've got a cgi-bin directory, which is where we were running our... Um, bash scripts from to test the motors. Then there's an images directory, which has a bunch of images that will be loaded when we go to the website. And then we've got two uh, HTML files that we're going to use um, for our web server. So we need to move these over so that light TBD can use them. So the, the 
way we do that is we use sudo move star slash var slash www. So the var slash www directory is the directory that um, the light TVD is looking for all of its files in. So we need to move our files into that directory. So there you can see we've done so. We do a list here, all those files have been moved. We didn't copy them, we've moved them over. Um, so we now uh, need to uh, edit a couple of files. Uh, so the first one is going to be sudo nano slash uh, etc slash light tpd slash light tpd.com. So this is a configuration uh, file that's used by the light tbd web server. So going into this, there's a couple things here that we need to change. So the first one, the server document root. You can tell um, that it's looking for the default HTML, HTML files in the directory uh, var slash www.html. Um, I want this to do be just the www directory, which is where we moved all our files to. So that's the first thing we need to change. Um, and that's all we actually need to change in this file. So we can then save this file. So we control X, say yes. So now we need to restart our web server so that it uses the new configuration that we just made there. So we do init dash d da, slash light tpd stop. So this stops the web server. Uh, we need to use sudo for that. Okay. Web server is stopped, and then we need we want to start it. Okay, our web server has now um, started. So now we can go back to our web browser and actually try this out again. And as you can see, we've got the start of our um, uh, web page being loaded here. I'm going to dive into something here. I've created actually those two HTML files that were in the www directory. They're slightly different files. One is meant for touch control. So this is uh, for me, touch control is on my iPad or iPhone, or as I'm on my computer right now, I need to actually use the mouse control. So I clicked on this little URL here and it takes me to a uh, um, a screen that has some differences which I'll go into much more detail later on in a future video but for now if you're using a mouse uh, to control your, your web browser you want to be on this one and if you're uh, using a, a, a tablet of some type you want to be under the touch control so let me just go back to here okay so um, first thing is um, this is uh, not fully, you know, we haven't got everything configured yet, so not everything is working here. However, we do have our motors connected and we should be able to um, actually control our motors with this already. And we're going to try some of these commands out. So really, these four arrows here are what control the direction of our, uh, our robot. So if we click, you can see the wheels are now moving in the forward direction. If I hit the reverse, moving in the reverse direction and right now the um, web page is um, uh, still trying to load a few things there is an iframe here so you'll find sometimes the responsiveness uh, in this state that we're in right now may not be great and you have to hit the stop sign if the motors don't stop but it's uh, it's pretty good but that will be resolved once we build out the rest of our components so of course we can hit left we can hit right um, so that's the first part of our web controls that are, are working. Um, if one thing to be aware of, if I hit a refresh here, um, on my iPad, I actually had to hit the X button here to stop the load of the iframe, which is where our video would normally be. 
Um, the iPad seemed to take a long time to time that out. And if I hit one of the motor controls, it basically uh, the motor controls would keep running until the iframe timed out, which was several minutes. So if you're uh, if you notice that your web page is still trying to load and you've got the X mark, just hit the X before you try the motor control. So again, we can control our motors with this. As you can see, I let go, it should have stopped there, but again, that's just because of the state we're in with everything, you can just hit the stop sign. Um, in general, it's working pretty good, but like I said, it will improve on uh, as we work through um, this. That's really taking us to the end of this video. Um, it's a very short one, but it's uh, also kind of a neat one because we're starting to use our, our web, uh, web page and our web server to control the robot. So the next video, we're going to get into uh, connecting up the Raspberry Pi camera and we're going to connect up the Bright Pi uh, LED module. With that, uh, I'll end this video and we'll talk to you in video four.